Hi there, here's a question for you. How much of an overhang can you achieve by stacking books at the edge of a table? Now here's what I mean. So I've got a book here and I'm going to push it right to the edge at the point where it wants to tip off. That's somewhere about there, okay? Now, if you look at our ruler here, that's going out to about 10. Now, I'm going to take another book, exactly the same size, or same length, and I'm going to put it on top. Now, at the moment, it wants to tip off, so I'm going to slide that one back a little bit, and I'm going to try and get a good balance point. So there, okay, that, that balances. And now you can see that we're, 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 we're overhanging further. Now, if I take a third book and put that on top, and again, try to find a balance point. This is about there, I guess, somewhere, maybe a little bit. That wants to kind of tip off now, Okay, close. Right, so each time I add a book, I can go a little bit further out. The question is, how far can I go? If I keep adding book after book after book, what's the maximum overhang that I can achieve? And that's the question for today. So let's discover the maths. To balance one book so that it doesn't tip over the edge, the centre of gravity of the book must be somewhere over the table. To achieve the maximum overhang, the centre of gravity should be just over the table's edge. The maximum overhang is obviously half a unit if we call the length of the book one unit. For two books, the centre of gravity of the first should be directly over the edge of the second and the centre of gravity of the stack of two books should be directly over the edge of the table. The centre of gravity of the stack of two books is at the midpoint of the book's overlap, or one plus a half over two units, which is three quarters of a unit from the far end of the top book. It turns out that the overhangs are related to what are known as harmonic numbers, denoted by Hn. The first harmonic number is 1, the second is 1 plus a half, or 3 over 2, the third is 1 plus a half plus a third, or 11 over 6, and so on. The general form of the nth harmonic number is given by this expression, the summation from k equals 1 to n of 1 over k, which simply means 1 plus a half plus a third plus a quarter plus all the way up to 1 over n. The maximum overhang possible for n books is hn over 2. Now, 1 plus a half plus a third plus a quarter is just over 2. So with 4 books, the overhang already exceeds 1 unit so that no part of the 4th book is directly over the table. What happens if we keep adding books and maximizing the overhang in the same way? By the time we've stacked 30 books on top of the original one, the overhang is 2.0136 book lengths. Is there a limit to the amount of overhang if we keep on stacking more and more books? The answer is no, although the amount of overhang you gain grows very, very slowly. The harmonic numbers come about by truncating or cutting off the harmonic series, which is infinitely long at some finite point. The harmonic series is simply this expression here. The summation from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over k, which is the same as the sum giving a harmonic number, except that it goes on forever. If we group the terms of the harmonic series like this, 1 plus a half plus a third plus a quarter plus a fifth plus a sixth plus a seventh plus an eighth and so on, it's clear that this is bigger than 1 plus a half plus a half plus a half and so on, and that if we arrange the terms of the harmonic series in groups of 2, 
4, 8, 16 and so on, the series has no finite sum. In other words, it diverges, although very slowly. This fact was first proved by the 14th century French philosopher and theologian Nicola Resmi. So the answer to the book stacking problem is that there's no limit in theory to the amount of overhang, although you'd need a lot of patience and books and time to get the overhang much beyond two. Going back to the harmonic series, it still diverges if you take away every other term, and even if you take away nine out of every 10 terms. However, here's an interesting thing. If you take the sum of reciprocals of all natural numbers that don't contain the number nine, when written in decimal expansion, the series converges. To show this, group the terms based on the number of digits in their denominator. There are eight terms in 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 all the way up to 1 over 8, each of which is no larger than 1. Now consider the next group, 1 over 10 plus 1 over 11 plus 1 over 12 all the way to 1 over 88. The number of terms is at most the number of ways to choose two ordered digits out of the digits 0 through 8. And each such term is clearly no larger than 1 over 10. So this group sum is no larger than 9 squared over 10. Similarly, the sum of the terms in 1 over 100 plus 1 over 101 all the way up to 1 over 999 is at most 9 cubed over 10 squared, and so on. So the entire sum is no larger than 9 times 1 plus 9 times 9 tenths plus 9 times 9 squared over 10 squared plus all the way up to 9 times 9 to the n over 10 to the n, and so on. This is a geometric series that converges. Thus, by the comparison test, the original sum, which is smaller term by term, must converge. Thanks very much for watching. Check out our other videos. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.